Okay, so first I want to start off by discussing some key differences between the ArcGIS desktop environment and the Arc Pro environment. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison between ArcGIS Pro and ArcMap. Uh, so first, ArcGIS Pro is 64-bit, which means that it can use your RAM and resources much more efficiently than ArcMap can. Um, it also integrates 2D and 3D maps or scenes. So uh, if you, as I'm sure you're aware, with ArcMap you really only could work in a 2D environment and you use ArcScene to work in a 3D environment. ArcPro has essentially integrated those two, um, those two interfaces, ArcMap and ArcScene. Um, within ArcGIS Pro, you can have multiple map scenes and layouts. In contrast, in ArcMap, you could only have one map, there were no support for scenes, and um, you could only have one layout in production. ArcGIS Pro is ribbon-based, similar to like Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint, um, so that's considered a more modern um, uh, a design for, for software, and obviously ArcMap wasn't designed that way. ArcGIS Pro has fairly tight integration with ArcGIS Online and Arc Portal, whereas ArcMap is more integrated with ArcGIS Server. So it's actually pretty easy to move content back and forth between online and desktop in the Pro environment, but it's actually a little more complex to publish data to a server in Arc Pro versus ArcMap. Um, you have access to your ArcGIS Online content in Arc Pro as long as you're logged in with your account. So you can stream in, uh, for example, data you have stored there or like base maps that you've created. Um, and obviously there's less integration between ArcMap and ArcGIS Online. Um, one thing that I like is that ArcGIS Pro supports both a light theme and a dark theme, and ArcMap didn't really have the ability to, to change themes. Um, so those are some key differences. Another component is that ArcGIS Pro no longer uses the MXD file as the primary like project file. Um, and of course, that's the map document file. Instead, it uses what's known as a .aprx file or project file uh, that can, again, integrate multiple maps, multiple scenes, and multiple layouts. Uh, when you create a project file, it also will automatically generate a uh, It'll automatically generate a default toolbox and a default geo database in order to where you can store your, your data and tools for that specific project. A couple other differences. Um, so you can go from an MXD to an APRX file. So there's an import tool, and I will demonstrate that um, in the course. Um, and when you bring in your MXD file, it should maintain the maps and the layouts and it is also possible to import scenes from, from ArcScene. Um, so we'll look at that as a, as a demo uh, shortly. Okay, so let's talk about licensing. Um, with ArcMap, there were basically one means to license permanently, and that was to have a license code or connect to like a license manager or license server. Um, if you, say, were an instructor, you could provide um, temporary licenses for your students that generally lasted a year and were activated using um, a, an, a code or a key. There are a couple different methods for licensing with Pro. So one option is a single-use license where you're basically provided a standalone license file or key similar to ArcMap. Um, that's generally not the preferred method to provide single-use licenses. Concurrent use licenses basically allow you to license a software using a license server, similar to, again, how we would license like a, uh, an organizational account with ArcGIS or ArcMap. Something that's new to ArcGIS Pro is the concept of named user licenses. So using an account that's either tied to ArcGIS Enterprise Portal or ArcGIS Online, you can access ArcPro with those credentials. So, for example, when I teach a class at WVU, I will generally provide my students with an ArcGIS Online account and give them specific access to Pro. So once they download the software, they can simply sign in to the ArcGIS Online account and, uh, and use the software. And then this will generally work until we delete the student accounts. Um, note there's also, you know, there's also a necessity to, to um, license extensions, um, and that will depend on, you know, what level of service you've paid for uh, with Esri. Uh, 